Yes guys and welcome to DAS Football. In this video I'm going to be doing 7 football records that will be broken by the end of 2021. Before this video starts though, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Now onto the records. The Portuguese goal scorer and 5 time Ballon d'Or winner, Cristiano Ronaldo, has a total of 102 international goals in 170 games for Portugal and there's only 7 goals shy of becoming the highest international goal scorer of all time and number 1 being the former Iranian striker Ali Deir. Definitely didn't pronounce that well, but we move on. Despite Ronaldo turning 36 this year, he's not showing any signs of slowing down. And surely with his top goal scoring form and Euro 2021 up ahead this summer, he will smash his record. Now to the second record, we have Sheffield United. Now, Sheffield United have only managed to get a mere 5 points in their last 18 games in the Premier League this season. And they sit rock bottom and it's very likely that the Blades are going to break Derby's 2007-8 squad's embarrassing record of the least amount of points in a Premier League season. Rams getting only 11 points that year. Will Chris Wilder's boys survive? I don't think they will, but will they break the record? Come down below. Now onto the 34-year-old Real Madrid defender and captain Sergio Ramos. Already broke Gianluigi's European record of the most international caps in November, and now has got his sights set on breaking the record of the most international caps in the world. Only needing seven more caps to beat where the record of the former Egyptian midfielder Ahmed Hassan's 184. But Ramos has some rivals for the record though. Oman midfielder Ahmed Milrak, 35 years old, is on 179, and Kuwait forward Beda Al Mutawa, didn't pronounce that right, also 35 has 178. Neither has retired yet. Do you think Ramos will do it? Personally, I think he'll do it. He's got Euro 2021. Now, another record the goal scoring machine and overall club legend of Real Madrid and Man United, CR7, could break this year as the joint most successful European Cup player. Now, if you can help Juventus to win the Champions League this year, you'll join fellow Real Madrid legend. Francisco Gento on the record six European Cups. Not only that, but we'd also take a level with a former Dutch midfielder, Clarence Seedorf, who is currently the only player to win a tournament with three different teams. Three different teams, do you know how hard that is? Having won it with Ajax in 1995, once with Real Madrid in 98, and twice with AC Milan in 2003 and 2007. Will, we, will CR7 do it? Yes, he will. Despite looking unlikely, with Celtic trading way behind their fierce rivals Rangers, if Celtic did pull off a miraculous comeback, they would become the first Scottish team to win 10 Scottish Premierships in a row. But even if Celtic did win this league this year, they would be way short of the European record though, which is shared by Lincoln Red Imps of Gibraltar, having won the uh, competition from 2003 to 2016, and Latvia's Skonto Liga, 1991-2004, both winning 14 consecutive league titles. Now that is dominance. The record for the most penalties given in a Premier League season being in the 2006-07 season, where 112 were awarded, 87 being scored. This season that figure looks to be shattered, with in 2021 there being 62 penalties taken and 51 scored. With the help of the new handball laws, video assistant referees and Mark Dean, surely this figure will be broken. Now onto the last record. Human Son, South Korean goal scorer, is on track to breaking at least equaling Mohamed Salah's 32 goals in the Premier League season with 38 games. With Son having scored 12 goals in only 17 appearances, but Mohamed Salah is desperate to make sure that this record is not broken or He's desperate to make it so that he breaks the record himself that he set 2017 to 18. But will he do it? Will Son win the Golden Boot this year? Or will he even break the record this year? That's the question. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.